I have the pleasure of being joined by Sam Houston State men's head basketball coach, Jason Hooten. Coach, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It seems like it's been forever that we've talked about basketball, thought about basketball. I'm sure it's been on your mind the last eight months since we ended in March. What are you and your team most excited about about this 2020-21 season? I think just getting back out there and, you know, being able to compete, uh, you know, being around each other every day has brought a little bit more normalcy back uh, into the picture. But I just think overall the guys are excited about uh, you know, being able to, to, to play the game they love and, uh, you know, trying to put some of the other stuff behind us maybe from last year and just moving forward. Looking at your roster for this year, it's quite a bit different than last season. You have one returning starter, only a couple of returning lettermen in general. What is the biggest challenge of trying to bring in new people, especially during this time when you can't all be together all the time? Oh, it's probably been the hardest thing that I've ever been uh, encountered with, for sure. Uh, just, you know, not having, it just feels like every day when I go home, uh, we just haven't had enough time. And, uh, you know, I think from when the pandemic struck last March in the conference tournament uh, and then into the summer, you know, where we didn't have much summer access at all. Uh, and then getting here in the fall and, you know, having a couple of, uh, you know, points where we had to stop and, and uh, take a little bit of time off. I think the hardest thing is just that uh, with all those new guys and how much stuff that we really have to put in and, and teach, uh, that's been the, the hardest thing. Of some of those new faces, are, are there any individuals in particular who have stood out to you right off the bat? Um, you know, I, I, I really like our group. And I think all of our guys right now have, have done a good job. And, you know, I, I uh, you know, I, I don't know if one more than the other has, you know, just stuck out. Um, you know, Tristan Ickby has done a great job for us and really brought to our team, I thought, what we missed last year with a, a power forward that can really rebound the ball and bring some toughness and some grit to our team. And so we've been really pleased with him. Uh, you know, losing Kai, uh, that that place in the middle will be hard hard. Uh, to replace and uh, you know Manny Crump has done a good job Dylan Robertson both of those guys are are doing well and uh, just you know those are big shoes to fill and those guys got to continue to get better and and I do think they'll help us uh, this season uh, Dante Powers and Javion May have both done uh, a really good job at filling in at the guard spot we lost you know some good players there and and uh, so overall, I, I've been been really pleased with our guys, and they've they've worked real hard. They've had really good attitudes, and and um, you know I think when it's all said and done, that we we have a chance to be uh, a pretty good team. I hope. One of those familiar faces, Zach Nettle, he comes back preseason award again last year, first team All Conference. How has he grown even more in his game that you've seen over the summer in preparation for this season? Well, Zach's definitely a hard worker, and, you know, even though we were shut down in the summer, you know, he was a guy that always found a place to go work out, you know, whether it be just by himself or running or lifting or push-ups or, um, you know, I know when he went home for a while, there was a little park by his house, and I know he got a lot of work in. He's just constantly working on his game. Uh, he wants to be really good, and, uh, you know, I think when your best player is one of your hardest workers, uh, you have a chance to to usually be successful. Uh, the thing about Zach that he has really taken a step, in my opinion, is his maturity and his leadership. And, you know, that was, to me, what I challenged him with coming into this season and last year even was just to become more of a leader. And, you know, when your best player can also be your best leader, again, I think you have a chance to be good. And, you know, he's done a good job with that. He's really started, uh, you know, to talk and to, uh, you know, to really get that new group of eight guys, you know, on board with everybody else that's returning on a daily basis. You know, last year we would have a bad practice and, you know, I, I would challenge him to, to bring his energy and his level of play above everyone else and, and to, to draw that, you know, to draw those other guys and to be a huge energy giver. And he's done that. Uh, and so you know, I've been very pleased with Zach and, uh, again, you know, Zach wants to be really, really good. And uh, he has a lot of a, a lot of talent, a lot of ability. And we're just going to continue to challenge him to be great. In addition to him, how have you seen the other couple returners step up in terms of leadership and bringing the guys all together? 
Yeah, Demarcus Lampley, you know, I don't think a lot of people know about Demarcus because he got hurt there in the middle of the conference and didn't even finish the last 10 games. But he's a really good player. Uh, last year, you know, we were fortunate to have some older guards. And so he, you know, he came off the bench last year and played a little bit of a different role than what we'll expect from him this season. Uh, but he has really stepped up. And again, you know, he and Zach lived together this summer. And I think they were both, you know, together and, and really worked out all the time. And so, you know, Demarcus's leadership has really improved as well. Um, but like I told him, his role will be different. And you know, from a team that's lost so much and has so many new faces, you know, there'll be a lot expected from him as far as scoring and, and defense and, and just that leadership, as you said. Uh, but he's done a good job up until this point, and uh, I'm, I'm excited once we start playing to see kind of where that takes him. 